what up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and yes, in this video we're going to be producing that weird, trippy, rosette style mirror effect within DaVinci Resolve. It's super quick and super easy to do. How much use it will be to you depends on the sort of filmmaking that you do, but if you do lots of music videos or you're just looking for a cool video to put some music to, then this might be a useful effect for you. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit tab and I've already got some footage imported into my media pool. So we're just going to grab this clip here, which is this clip of this flame. Now all of this stock footage was downloaded from pexels.com, completely free of charge. Check the link down in the description where you can go and check out Pexels for yourself. Now I found that any clips really work for this, but you want clips with loads of colour, contrast and movement, they seem to work the best. So we're going to have a look at this one here, this flame. So we've added the clip to our timeline and then all we need to do, open up the effects library by clicking on effects library up in the top left hand corner, come down to the toolbox, open effects and then we're just going to keep scrolling down until we get to the resolve FX stylized area and you'll see mirrors within there. And then we're going to grab this mirrors effect and apply it directly onto our footage on the timeline like so and then release, and after a second or two, it will apply this mirrored effect. So at the moment, all it's doing is mirroring left to right. So we just need to change that to add our rosette effect. So give the footage a click on your timeline, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, and then we're gonna click on the effects tab, and you'll see mirrors. If that's minimized, you just need to click on the word mirrors just to open that up so you can see all of your settings within there. The first thing we need to change is this mirror placement. It's currently set to individual, but if you click on the drop down, you've got the rosette option. So give that a click, and there we go. So now we've got this mirror rosette effect, which immediately starts to look really cool and really trippy. But then you can start to customize this to get it looking exactly as you want it. So underneath there, you've got these controls. Again, just click controls if you don't actually see the individual controls. We've got position, angle, and wedge width. So the rosette has a center. So our center is right in the middle here. If we change the position, so I can just click and drag, I can move that center point, and that'll change exactly what's being reflected. So I'm going to move it over to the far right-hand side instead. So I've got it over here, which creates this really cool trippy effect, like so. We've then got the angle, so we can change the angle of the rosette. So we can just move that from left to right to get that looking exactly as we want it. It's basically just changing the angle of the mirrors so you can get the mirrors exactly where you want them. So I'm going to go with something like that. And then we've also got the wedge width. So at the moment we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. If we just decrease this wedge width, we get more, giving us more reflections. And then if we hit play, we've got this really trippy effect. And you can just mess around with all these different settings to get it looking exactly as you want it. If we just grab another clip, we'll put that next to this one. This is the beach one. We'll do the same thing. We'll apply the mirrors. We'll give it a click on the timeline. We'll open up the effects, change that to rosette. And again, we can do the exact same thing. Just play with this until we've got something that looks really cool. And there you go. Now for one last real quick tip to make it look really funky give your clip a click once again this time go back to the video tab come down to the dynamic zoom and turn that on and then underneath our preview window here come down to this little drop down and select the dynamic zoom you've heard me say this a million times before the green box is where you start and the red box is where you end so if we just zoom that in so we're starting really zoomed in and we're going to zoom out using our dynamic zoom and then if we just hit play we've got this effect as well. So we've not just got the mirrors going on, but we've also got a slow pan out, which again, just makes it look that little bit trippier. Combine this rosette with a bunch of different effects and you've got a really cool, weird looking effect for music videos or anything like that. And that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you did enjoy the video, consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching, take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.